hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how to compress images inside uh, angular 13 application and for this application we will be using a very special library called as ngx dash image dash compress and we will be doing this inside typescript so basically this is the library guys we will be using inside this so this is ngx dash image dash dash compress so if i show you the simplest of example right here you will see it is a very popular library it has got almost 11000 weekly downloads and you can see this is the simple command which is required to run this module and basically it's a angular utility kind of a library for compressing the images angular images to a smaller size so this is ngx dash image dot compress this is an angular library to compress images so we will be looking at a very basic example to compress image upload image and compress it using angular so for this application we will not be requiring any sort of backend we will be all be doing it inside our angular 13 application and all the source code regarding this application guys i have given in the video description so this is my blog post and you can see this is all the source code which will be there so you can go to the video description link inside this live stream i have given this link inside the description so you can just click this link and go to this blog post and you can download all the source code this is the source code which is there and let's start building this application guys so first of all you need to open a new directory here inside your projects directory i will make a new directory here So inside the projects directory I will make a new directory so simply I will call this directory as compress image I will cd into this directory and I will open this inside visual studio code text editor so you will see that guys currently this directory is empty right now so now we will initialize a new angular project angular 13 project so in order to write this we will just write ng new and then followed by the project name in this case we will compress image project so if i execute this command guys so it will create a brand new project inside our directory so it is saying that would you like to add angular routing so i will say no so i don't want the angular routing so we will only use the css and now basically you can see it is installing these packages so you just need to give some time for this project to create so it is simply creating the project so in this project we will be compressing the size of a image so from a larger size image to a smaller size image so we will be doing it inside uh, ngx image compress library so you just need to give some time for this project to fully build and once it is built we can write the code here so you can see it is currently building out so in the meantime you can check out the library this is the actual library which does this task for you which compresses the images so the documentation is good you can read more about it the example code is given here so you can just simply read the documentation so it is a very popular module which is 11,000 weekly downloads are there so now guys you can see that it is installed this is our project it contains all these files which is app.component.ts file this is actual file app.component so here we will delete all this and we will just be saying a simple heading that to compress image in angular so now to run this project it is very easy guys first of all we need to go to the projects directory and then we will simply say that uh, ng surf so just execute this command guys ng surf so it will start this angular 13 application at a port number which is i think it will be 5050 so it is just starting this application for the very first time it will take some time and after that it will auto refresh whenever you make any sort of changes 
so you can see it is compiling it so now it is compiled successfully you will see that now it is running on local host 4200 so we can open this application so now you will see compressed imager angular so now guys we need to simply install this module which is there so this is a actual module which is ngx dash image compress so we need to install this module so i will stop the server and i will install it ngx image compress so execute this command guys so it will install this module so you just need to write the force command as well because it can be just write it dash dash force if your angular version is not compatible so this will make sure that this dependency will be installed irrespective of your angular version so now after this you can start your application ng serve so now once it is installed guys you need to add this service So it is saying that Angular 13 plus do not need any module import but if you are using a Angular version before 13 because this is particularly for the Angular 13 but if you are using it before 13 you need to go to your angular dot uh, this app dot module dot ts file and you need to add this module like this but for Angular 13 it is not required so we will simply write the HTML code which is required for this so I will delete this so instead of having h1 we will have a header tag inside this we will have a h1 tag we will say ngx image compress demo so after this guys you will have a simple button with the help of which we will be saying upload and compress image so both the things will be happening at the same time so we will bind a on click listener to it so when we click this button what will happen we will execute this method which is compress file and uh, we need to make this method inside our app.component.ts file but before that we also need to make the image tag so whenever the image is compressed we will display it with this ng if so here we will initialize a simple condition so basically we will initialize it to the method which is image result before compress and we will bind a source property to it so this will be image result before compress once again So close the image tag and similarly we will have once again have once again this ng if this will be image result after compress so here the source property will be simply image result after compress so close the property close the image tag so that's all that you need to do guys so basically if you now refresh your application you will see a simple button which will be there so it will say you haven't made these methods which we have declared so once again you need to make go to your app.component.ts file and first of all we will import the library so right here if you see we will import the actual library which is ng image compress so from this library there are some things that we need to import first thing is data URL put a comma then we have to have doc dot orientation put a comma and then we need to import ngx image compression service and put a comma and then upload re response so these are the four things that we need to import guys 
so we have imported it successfully so right here what we need to do is that we need to make that function which is compress file so basically when we click this button we are calling this function here so simply we are writing this function so right here we will return a new instance of image compress so for this we need to first of all declare the variables so right here inside our project so first will be image result before compress before compress and this will be of the type data URL that we have imported guys data URL data URL so this library we have imported here you will see that data URL and this will be currently empty and next we will have image result after compress and this will be of the type as well data URL and this also will be empty by default and then we will have image result upload and this will be of the type uh, again data URL and this will be also by default be empty and we will declare a constructor guys inside this angular component we will provide a property which will be private image compress and this will be of the type ngx image compress service and this will be a empty constructor so we are just initializing our compress service which will actually compress the image for us so after this constructor guys we can simply call this method which is inside our compress file method this dot compress file and first of all guys we will upload this so we will call the upload file method upload file so this method we need to create guys so right after this we will create this method to sim this will simply upload the image not to a database but to temporary location so that we can compress it so we will simply make this method up upload file so we are just calling it so here guys we will simply write this dot image compress Oh, sorry I think we have made a mistake here once again here we need to call this upload file method once again upload file and uh, this returns a promise so inside this we have missed here so dot then let me just write it once again so this will have the image actual image which is uploaded and then we will have the orientation so this will be of the type upload response So inside this guys we will simply say this dot image result upload and this will be equal to image actual image which is uploaded that's it so after this guys we will simply change we will compress the image by using doc underscore orientation and this will be equal this is an actual array and here we will pass the orientation of the image so doc orientation if you check the source code I have given this source code in the video description if you see here these are just a console log messages which are there so it is not doing anything so inside this method only guys we are just uh, 
uploading the file that's all so inside our compress file we need to do the logic so once again this returns a promise so we will say dot then and here we will have the image and the orientation so basically this will be of the type upload response and this is the arrow function so right here guys we will say this dot image before compress so this will be equal to the actual image which is uploaded and then we will compress the image so it is saying that uh, upload file doesn't exist on type Uh, let me see guys what is the problem here so inside this upload file this dot image compress oh sorry this needs to be this dot image compress sorry and here we need to compress the image guys so for compressing the image we will say that this dot image compress dot byte count and inside this guys we will simply pass our image so this will actually compress the image and after this let me check the source code so after this step you will see that uh, this dot image compress uh, sorry this dot compress byte count So after this we need to execute this code this is come this is uh, let me delete this now to compress the code uh, compress the image we will copy paste this code here so basically it is calling the this dot image compress dot compress file we are passing the image and the orientation 50 50 this is width and height and then the data URL will come and then we will display the compressed image which is this dot image result after compress so you can delete the console log message that's all the logic is required guys to compress the image now we can launch the application let me check in the browser you will see a button if I select upload compress so now you will see this is our original image and this is the compressed image so basically let me take one other example let me uh, go to a image hosting website where very high resolution pictures are there so let me take a high resolution picture let me go to pexel.com so here we can search for a stock photos programming so so these are very high resolution pictures so let me take an example of this let me save this image so now basically you will see that guys if I show you the size of this image so it is approximately 59 kilobytes this is not a large image let me take example of a larger image let me say large size images so let me take a large size image example and show to you so basically you will see now this is the size of this image which is 293 kilobytes still it is small so let me take So if you see the size of this image, I have this image procodestore.com. I have my profile picture. I think this is quite a large size image. So 
so it is round about 142 kil uh, kilobytes so this is quite large image size here you will see that now we I need to compress this image so basically I will rename this to profile 2223 so I will now upload this image inside this application and I will select this image so now you will see this is the original image and this is the compressed image It is saying that can't bind to NG. I have think I have made a mistake here. Oh, sorry. This needs to be capital F. Sorry. Just make this slight adjustment, guys. So now, hopefully, this will work. So now you will see this is the original image and this is the compressed image. So if I check the size of this compressed image, you will see that it it has compressed the size to if I see this so why this is the image so download 10 so it is compressed from 142 kilobyte this is was the original image and this has compressed to 34 kilobytes so this is a compressed image so you can see slight differences in quality i think no difference you can make out from out from wave around the image still looks good but the size is reduced to 142 kilobytes to 34 kilobytes so this is the simple angular 13 application guys where we have looked on how to compress images on the client side without using any sort of server side library so we have just used the angular library which is ng image compress all the source code regarding this application will be there inside video description i have given this source code so just go to this link and download all the source code please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next stream